Hello everyone, Squid of Baconator here, and welcome to my let's play of Pokemon Sigma Emerald. Okay, f people who've been watching my channel are probably wondering why I'm doing this. Well, for one, this is a patch of my favorite Pokemon game of all time. And secondly, I want to do something different, so this will be replacing Pokemon Resolute for the time being. Now, if you want to hear more of that, I will leave a link in the description so you can see me talk about that. And I wanted to do this instead of the regular copy of Emerald. Oh, I don't want to let that play again. Let me just get it out of there. Anyways, you're probably wondering what's different in this version of Emerald than the regular version. Well, I'll just plop that on the screen right now so you guys can see for yourselves and pause the video if you want to read that. And I'll also probably leave the link in the description to the page where it shows all the differences with this patch. But anyways, like I said, this is my favorite Pokemon game of all time, and I'm really excited since I've really been wanting to play it again, so let's get started. Yes, everybody knows this Professor Birch, we've already known this, blah blah blah, let's get going, yada yada yada, da da da, blah blah, okay, 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 da 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 And now, are you a boy or a girl? And I'm a guy, of course. And uh, like the past two Let's Plays, I'm just gonna go by Squid. Okay, seriously, Mom, why did I have to ride in the back of a moving truck? <laughs> a bit of a reference to Super Skarmory's Let's Play of Emerald, but <laughs> I just felt like saying that. Because why would you have your son ride in the back of a moving truck? <laughs> Anyways, here's our home, which we will not really be in for very long, so... Whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me at all. And then there's a couple Vigoroth. One guy just walking back and forth because he doesn't know what to do with that shit. And he's probably gonna break it, and he's gonna have to pay for it because we're not paying for that shit. Anyways, you wanna go over to this PC because I believe there is a potion in it, yep, which you can use. And also, hey GameCube! All right, it is currently... Eight, twenty-eight. All right, let's just get through this. <laughs> I feel like I've seen this intro so many times, so I pretty much know everything that's gonna happen in this intro, what they're gonna say, where you're gonna go. Hey, here's a Pokeball, let's steal it. Oh no, she's here, quit. Damn it, now I can't steal this. Uh, hi, I wasn't gonna steal that. Alright, if there's one negative thing I have to say about this game, is that your rival ain't, isn't very good. So 
So what I mean by it is that out of all the rivals, May and to some extent Brendan, the male character in Ruby Sapphire Emerald, is just not very good of a rival, in my opinion. It just feels like they don't have too much of a character as other rivals, and they aren't much of a threat when battling them. Fine, I'll go see what's going on, since I'm the only one capable enough around here to actually do something. And he's getting chased by a zigzagoon? I thought it was an emerald where he was getting chased by a Poochiana. At least that's what I remember. Maybe I'm- no wait, that was, was that Ruby and Sapphire? I can't remember. Okay, bye! Where are you going? Don't leave me like this. Oh, but I want to leave you like that. You look fine. The Zigzagoon just wants to play. Alright, so the three Hoenn starters. You got Trico, Mudkip, and Torchic. A lot of times I'd usually use Trico, but I think I'll use Mudkip. Alright, as you can see, it already comes with Water Gun, which is not a feature in regular Pokemon Emerald, since this uses some of the Gen 6 mechanics, I think. This is why you should always have a Pokemon. You're not very smart, are you? Actually, I think it's because I've been playing Pokemon games for over 13 years now, so... I think it's just because I already have plenty of experience and I'm not just a 10-year-old who just got his first Pokemon, whatever. Anyways, we got Mudkip. I heard you like Mudkips. And I'm not gonna nickname any of my Pokemon. Okay, let's go do that. And I still don't have the running shoes, so we're just gonna have to keep walking. And this guy wasn't here when Professor Birch was here. Alright, we got another zigzagoon. <laughs> And yet another Zigzagoon, because there are no other wild Pokemon here other than Zigzagoon. I thought with this was Pokemon Emerald, not Pokemon, there are only Zigzagoon here. And Mudkip is up to level 6. Now we made it to Old Dale Town, where this lady will show you the Pokemon, and she'll give you an item. More specifically, a potion. And she is pretty much just saying that you can save to save your progress and rest and blah blah blah, we already know this shit.
And that's a Pokemon Center, not really anything new, just stuff you've already seen before. And this guy is like, ah, wait, please don't come in here. I discovered, I just discovered the footprints of a rare Pokemon. Wait until I finish sketching them, okay? Kind of a weird way to keep you from going any further, but whatever. Pokemon always has something that prevents you from straying off the bean path. Because Pokemon loves being linear. And now Mudkip is level 7. Now before I talk to May, I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon. Alright, let's get this started. Yeah, she says that she'll give you a taste of being what a trainer is like, but let's just take a look at her Pokemon. It is only level 5, so... Everybody hacks like she's a great trainer, but with lots of experience, but she just got her Pokemon. Anyway, she has the Pokemon that is stronger against you, so... But it won't really matter in this battle since... Actually, I think it might matter since it might now absorb. Since we are going off Gen 6 mechanics, but it's not... But she's not going to use it, so I easily beat her. And Mukip just barely doesn't level up. Yeah, I'm pretty good, and you were pretty bad. You suck. And so, now we go back to the lab. Squint over here! I see you! You're right in front of me! You don't need to yell at me when I'm right in front of you! Yeesh, people have no manners these days. Okay, we're back at the lab. Yeah, she's been helping out a long time. She has extensive history with battling no one. And we finally get the Pokedex. Yes, it's... Yeah, it's so great. Yeah, it's really awesome. Yay. I'm see, I'm so excited like you, May. <laughs> uh huh, whatever. <laughs> you know, I don't hate May, but as a rival, she is pretty weak. And I just think most games have better rivals. Yes, I did. You. I think coming out of his lab already shows that I already did this stuff. Anyways, we finally get the running shoes. Okay, now our journey can finally begin. And now we can also start catching Pokemon, but I don't think there's really any that I want to catch yet. So far at the beginning, you only see, like, Zigzagoon, Wurmple, Puchiana. And I think on this route up here, you can also find Wingle. But all those Pokemon aren't that useful. Except for Zigzagoon, who, can you, you, who you can use as, like, an HM slave. And this guy, he finished sketching the footprints. But it turns out they were only his own footprints. <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> He's great. Now, I don't think these houses really have anything useful in them. Yeah, just stuff I already know because I've been playing Pokemon for years! Even over a decade now. So, it doesn't really do anything for me. Also, I can run inside, which is a 
big thing because in the original games you can't do that and now you can run inside which makes things going a little bit faster and I'm just running around these people I think they think I'm crazy. They're probably wondering why some strange kid is running around their table. Eh, what do you guys want? Anyways, now let's go to Route 102. Here, there's finally going to see some new trainers, and there's also some new Pokémon here. Since I don't feel like ending it right here, I'll, I'll just battle these trainers that are on this route. It shouldn't take too long. Now that I think about it, I'm going to catch a Zigzagoon just so I have something for right gems. I said Zigzagoon, not Poochiana. Go away. Here we go. Really? Why did it not work? I think it's kind of ridiculous that it didn't work. Okay, come on, you're just level 3. There we go. Well, I wasted one Pokeball that I'm not going to get back, and I'll have to pay for, and it looks like we can also gain experience with catching wild Pokemon. Like Gen 6 since I think that's also part of the patch, and this guy needs to get out of my way so I can heal my Pokémon. Anyways, I think I'll check this place out, the Wireless Club. I'm not sure if this is able to have any use since this is a patch. Yep, this is how things were before we got Nintendo Wi-Fi connection in Gen 4. But I don't think these are going to have any use from me, so this will be the only time that you're ever going to see this room. A moment of silence of old ways to connecting the other trainers. Okay, let's leave. Okay, I think that's a good stopping place for this first episode. Thank you all for watching this first part of my Let's Play of Pokemon Sigma Emerald. I am really looking forward to playing Emerald again. I've already stated that it is one of my favorite Pokemon games, so this is gonna be fun. And I hope you guys enjoy me and my attempts at humor. I hope my jokes end up being kind of funny and I don't come off as annoying or boring. <laughs> but anyways, if you have any suggestions on how I can improve my presentation, then please leave that in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you some other time.